guys. Chuck, we're gonna go do some shooting tonight. <laughs> Today. <laughs> tonight! We're in the jungles, man. It's cool. Here we go. We're walking. We're having fun. We're gonna go meet my family. Not my family, the family I'm gonna take pictures of. Yeah, this is like self-made video stuff, right? I told you I was gonna do it. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna meet the Gless family and we're gonna show you how to take a one light in the sun and create some really dramatic rock star type of portraits for a family session. And let's let them have fun and I'm just gonna blast away and uh, I'm gonna explain what I'm doing in the power settings and all that kind of stuff uh, while I'm shooting. So here we go, let's meet our family and hey everybody say hi. Hi, that's Locke. Hey, there's Mike. Hey, Mike. What's up, man? Say hi. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And that's somebody else. All right. And cool. And let's meet our cameraman, Marco. Here he comes. Sorry I'm late. Say hi, Marco. God, sorry you're late. Man, what's up? Yep. Okay. We're docking you at least $1,000 off of that minute. All right, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Here we go. Hey, guys. I am going to overdub this because it was really windy. That's the new Vagabond Mini Lithium, about three and a half pounds, and it's really cool. And what I'm using here is my Alien B Ring Flash and my Radio Popper Junior Studio. That telephone cord coming out of the receiver there allows me to control the power levels on my camera from the transmitter, which you'll see me controlling right there. You can set the power level to basically anything. Um, when I shot manual, Back before I had the radio popper, I always set up a quarter power just to start off with. So what we're going to do is take a meter read or take a reading from our camera of the scene, and if I was to shoot that, it would produce a silhouette of the subject because the sun is directly behind us. And then we're going to get a reading of the subject from the flash, and I want it to be about a half stop. And there's my meter reading, f8. Yep, <laughs> and I'm shooting at F8. So what you're going to do is see a shot that has got a background that is nice and rich, and the highlight on the hair is a little bit brighter than the main subject there. So just to recap, expose, get your exposure for your background, and then figure out the power level that you want the subject to be from your flash. And the best way to do that is with a light. And here we go. There's the Vagabond Mini again. And pay attention to how close the flash is to me, but how high it is. And that's the general look for fashion and some rock bands to kind of create an edge. And here we go. We're just shooting away. And what you'll see is a nice, rich background with uh, a subject that looks pretty natural in it. How I'm creating an edge to my pictures is by the flash position. And the position is more from the fashion rock band type of thing. It's more close to me and above. So you can see where I'm standing in relation to the flash. And these images that I'm showing are raw images right out of camera, just so you can see. I'm gonna have a lot of retouching to do, I think. <laughs> that is my old bass player, Mike, and his family. They were nice hey, enough Ollie, to grab come your, down grab and Daddy. show. Daddy. He's scare me? So here we go. We're just me? shooting around a little bit, I'm gonna make Daddy having some fun. So we're just having some fun. Now what I've done here is, you saw the light on the side of his face was brighter, I turned them into the sun, but I've balanced the flash now to where it matches the sunlight. And how I did that was by turning the power up. I could have done that, but what I did was changed it to F13 and move the flash a little bit closer. So they're having fun. And we've used the same settings here. I'm up to F13 and the sunlight is coming from their right side. And I'm just using the flash to balance out the sun, to kind of create it even. And now we've turned the back into the sun where I'm shooting directly into the sun and the flash is off to the side, but I have the subject looking to it. So it's still front lighting, 
but I'm shooting from the side. And I really like this shot a lot. So that's kind of what I do. Just having a lot of fun, mixing it up. That's really all there is to it. Just get your get your exposure for the background and then figure out the power level that you want to create the look you're going for. So there you have it, pretty easy. One light and the sun as your kicker light. And you just get your exposure for the background and then figure out your power level of the flash to expose your subject. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at chucky at chuckarlin.com. Talk to you soon.